December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. I will be proud to lead you wonderful guys into battle anytime, anywhere. I can imagine no more rewarding a career than any man who may be asked in this century what he did to make his life worthwhile, I think, can respond with a good deal of pride and satisfaction. I served in the United States Navy. On this day in naval history, May 11th, 1862, the Confederate Navy destroyed the CSS Virginia to prevent its capture. Fire and a powder trail that led to the magazine destroyed the ship with a giant explosion. The CSS Virginia was the Confederate Navy's first steam-powered ironclad warship and significant, due in part, to opposing the USS Monitor in the first battle between ironclads. In 1898, crews from the cruiser Marblehead and gunboat Nashville set out on a mission. They were going to drag for and sever the telegraph lines leading from Cienfuegos, Cuba. The Navy saw this as an opportunity to disrupt Spanish communications and operations without having to stage a landing. The waters were choppy and the seafloor lined with coral while the telegraph stations were heavily armed by Spaniards armed with smokeless powder Mauser rifles. At 7 a.m., the Marblehead and Nashville started to bombard Spanish positions, destroying a blockhouse and telegraph station and forcing the Spaniards to leave their positions. This is when the cutting crews came in and started cutting the telegraph cables. While cutting the third and final cable, the Spanish came for a counterattack, forcing the men to abandon the final cable. Sustaining 12 casualties and three deaths in this endeavor, the Americans succeeded in disrupting Spanish communications. Due to their heroic actions during the event, 54 Marines and sailors received the Medal of Honor.